Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and this is an exciting day. This is the Valentine's update and you know what? We are back, we are back on the old Watchers Bay. But it's not really named Watchers Bay anymore. So if you check on the map, we have the Valentine's Bay. <laughs> so lots of things happening right now. And uh, oh, we have a ladder up in the tree here. Can we use it? Oh, we can. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, so lots of things that has come back. We have a full reskin of Port Jackson. We're going to take a look at that. Of course, we're going to take a look at this island also. What has changed, if anything has changed. And we have a revisit of an old boat. We have spear that has come back. We have new rods, or actually not new, but it's uh, it's been present earlier in the game. It's uh, the limited rods. And we also have some of these limited fishes that was, uh, I think it was from last year actually. So there are two versions of the fish. The one that we had last year is currently back. But now we don't fish those at Port Jackson. So now we fish it on this island, the old Watches Bay. So much to keep track on right now. But we will get back to it. So let's get started. Oh, and we ended up in a void storm in the middle of everything. And there should be some Kronkasaurus here. Yes, <laughs> here we have him. <laughs> yes, and the Kronkasaurus is down. We got four pieces of loot. We're going to check it out what it is. Oh, we got a Kronkasaurus tooth. Those are not that common, so that's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna lock it. Yes, void storm in the middle of the week on a Valentine's update. <laughs> yeah, so there was a developer here on the server, so that's why we have it. Because this is not a normal condition. <laughs> but uh, yeah, regardless. Uh, we need to check out all the items, of course. And I think we're gonna start with the boat. So we can go down here to Deckard's boat. Let's see. Yes, the Swan boat. It has a health up to 300, a top speed of 55. And the specialty is a rarity chance up to 15%. It also has another thing, is that the sea creatures won't be provoked if there are two players on the boat. So if you have a friend, you can go together and you will not be attacked by the sea creatures. <laughs> That's awesome. And the boat comes in at the price of 300,000. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's very slow. <laughs> keep that in mind. It doesn't have that much hit points. Keep that also in mind. So it's not really an extremely good boat, but it's a limited boat. And that's what I want to say here. It's limited. So grab the opportunity while you can. As for myself, I barely use this boat. Uh, I think I said that actually last year also. <laughs> so I think I only had it like once. I changed color on it just to see the customization. Because you have the seat and you have the primary and the horn. That's all you have. But we can of course equip it just so we, uh, we should, you know what, we should put the default colors on. So this is the swan boat with the default colors. And now it's of course a void storm, so that's a little bit special. It has some light. I can't tell if it's colored light or not because, yeah, everything is uh, colored right now. But I don't think it's colored. It's just regular light on and off. Yeah, so that's the swan boat. And then we have moved into Finn Supplies and we're going to talk to Finn. We're going to check out the backpack. So it's this chocolate box. It has a backpack space of 200, so it's very small. But then again, I think you choose this one just for the actual model and the occasion. And that also goes with the price because it has a price of 500,000. Could be a little bit much if you're really out for the backpack space. But as in my case, this is just for the model. So we're going to do a free camera to see the details a little bit better. So it looks like this. Yeah, basically a chocolate box, as it says. <laughs> With a nice ribbon and everything. Very nice. 
And uh, then we're gonna move on to these limited rods. So, over at the silver chest. Looks like this. You have the love stone rod. That's the mythic rod. Uh, we're gonna take a look at it, of course. But we're just gonna th go through what we have here. So, we have also this one. This is actually a rod from two years back. The Valentine's rod. This one was very cool back in the days, I remember. <laughs> so, we have actually two mythic rods right now. Which is awesome. And we have Cupid's rod, which is a legendary rod. And then I must scroll down to see if there is anything. I think we have the Shardstone rod also, which is an epic rod. This one is also related to Valentine update. And not sure, but maybe Sweet Tooth rod. I have it as well. I do have all these new or old rods since earlier. So basically I don't have to open any chests, which is just perfect. <laughs> Saves me a lot of time. I like that. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at them. So let's start from the bottom, the Sweet Tooth Rod. We're gonna equip it. What was the stats by the way? 3% strength, 7% hook speed. So when it comes to the stats, it's not really that good, but it's a very special and unique model. <laughs> we need to get some light. All right, so let's see. Here is a bright place as usual. We're gonna do a free camera. Looks like this, very nice. So let's run down to the water. I don't see anything that could glow. And no, nothing glows. I'm gonna throw in the water. Yeah, exactly. So you threw the top, the chocolate, and uh, is it strawberries? No, maybe some, uh, some hearts of some kind. Nothing that glows. Nothing really that special. Cool model though. And uh, yeah, I, I suggest that you have it for the model and not because of the awesome stats, because there isn't any. And moving on to the next rod, it's the Cupid's rod, the legendary one. So it has 15% rarity chance, 5% hook speed, much better than the rare one. We're gonna equip it and uh, yeah, it looks like this, very cool, actually very cool. I don't remember it being this cool. So it has some neon glows, a lot of sparkling effects, very, very nice actually. We're gonna go here and do a free camera. Maybe it's a little bit too bright th because this one really, really glows. Uh, we're gonna stand out here instead. So, take a look at this one. This is just amazing, actually. It's <laughs> it's much cooler than I remembered it. Was it really that good? Yeah, well, we're gonna go into the dark. Uh, nothing that emits any light. But as you can see, a lot of neon textures and the special effects. They are awesome. I'm gonna take a look at the bobber. So you threw the... Is it the heart? I must check. So there is... What do you throw into the water, by the way? Let's see. We compare... Do you throw something from the inside of the heart into the water? What is it? It's like a very bright heart. It doesn't glow, but it definitely has a neon texture and some special effects. Very easy to track underneath the water, even though it's very, very dark. So that's perfect. All right, gonna try to rush all the roads while we have the same weather condition, so it's easier to compare. Yes, so I forgot the epic rod, the shardstone rod, so we're gonna type in shard... Oh, please, shard, I should have it. Oh, here it is. So, 10% rarity chance, 5% hook speed. I like those stats, even though they are not that high. We're gonna equip it. Looks like this. It's like a smaller version of the previous one. Nice effect, similar effect, but smaller. That's a tree. <laughs> and uh, not as much uh, glow effect here. We're gonna go down here into the dark place. And uh, surprisingly enough, there is a, this is actually a neon texture. I didn't realize that at first. And uh, I do believe we throw the shard into the water. Let's find out. And yeah, the shard went into the water. That one doesn't have any special effects. It's just a neon texture. And you have the hearts. Those are the particle effects that's cool we're gonna continue so here is the original valentine's rod the mythic rod it has 30 percent rarity chance 20 percent hook speed this one was an old favorite we're gonna equip it and uh, yeah this is what it looks like we're gonna go and take a look at it in some brighter place uh, we can go over here as uh, as usual uh, this is what it looks like so this one is two years old now with the ribbon and everything very cool i do think you throw the flower up here into the water and use that one as a bobber 
I'm gonna go into the dark. Nothing that glows. Uh, I think we have just had a weather shift, so uh, void storm is over. But you can clearly see the center part of the flower doesn't emit anything. It doesn't have any special effects. All right. And then we're gonna move on to the last uh, mythic rod. I think it was, uh, yeah, the love stone rod. So, a lot of things going on here. This one was introduced last year. It has 10% uh, reeling speed, 25% rarity chance, 5% strength and 10% hook speed. We're gonna equip it as well. This one looks awesome. So, it's a little bit newer than the original Valentine's rod. Uh, this one is too bright over here, so we're gonna use it here instead very very cool a lot of things going on in here <laughs> i'm not gonna try to explain it uh i do think it's like a neon texture uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out if something glows in here so it's just a neon texture nothing that it emits any light we're gonna check how it behaves in the water so you throw the middle piece into the water as usual it has some special effects it has a neon texture it doesn't emit glow on the fish <laughs> very nice though very very nice i used it for a few weeks last year so i do like it i really do but when it comes to the stats i do think the valentine's rod suits me better at least and then we of course have the spear the love stone spear this spear is really really good and i mean it it's uh, just one of a kind uh, so we have it the love stone spear damage 1250 with a specialty of double loot and double experience and what makes this a little bit more special than like if we compare to a spear like the sunburst which does have more damage it has this aoe damage also and the love stone spear doesn't have that so the way everything works in the game if you hurt something else in the surrounding with the aoe you lose that experience or not maybe lose but you don't get that experience once you have killed that additional sea creature you will not get 1400 experience because it has already lost experience when and the hit points because of that aoe damage but we're gonna equip this spear because this one is really really good i should use it more actually even though i do like the sunburst this one will help you even more if you are a hunter Sunburst is better though on Mubi Wood because that's a single target, so that's worth to keep in mind. But if you're just go, gonna go hunt sharks and orcas and maybe hammerheads and void hammerheads, then this spear is really, really good. It's, I see now it's partly transparent. I haven't noticed that before, <laughs> but that's what it looks like in free camera. Very nice. Uh, we're gonna throw the spear before, before it becomes too bright outside. And as you can see, it has a special effect. It has a trail. Very, very cool. Uh, we're going to see if it uh, emits any light. It doesn't, but it has a, clearly a neon texture. <laughs> very nice. And uh, we're going to just to show what it is to hunt with this spear. I'm going to show you ever so quickly. Because, yeah, this is the highlight after all. I'm not going to hunt with the owl. Okay, I'm going to hunt with this boat. <laughs> Why not? It's Valentine's, okay? So, let's see. If I had a friend right now, the sharks and orcas wouldn't attack me, but uh, I'm not gonna pick up anyone in the boat right now anyway. So, we're gonna see if we can get a shark or an orca. Uh, just to show you what it looks like. So, I don't use any special pets or anything right now. Because, uh, yeah, this is just test for the spear. And I got 1400 experience, that is uh, twice as much as a regular spear. Because a shark has 700 hit points and uh, one hit point equals one experience. That's 700 experience and this has twice the experience so that means that you have 700 times 2 and that equals 1400 of experience. And when it comes to loot, let's see. We can check that one also because I, for <laughs> I forgot to check it on that shark. So as you can see, we got six pieces of loot, which is great. Really helps if you try to get eggs or something for the aquarium also. And I leveled up. We're not going to go and do Mubi or anything like that. But this is basically what the spear is all about. So we have something that is following and I missed. Fantastic. 
<laughs> I do believe actually that we might have some void hammerheads here somewhere. And I would be in trouble with this boat if I encounter void hammerheads. Oh, oh, I think we have void hammerheads. So let's see. Yep, we have void hammerheads. And uh, yeah, speed of 55. It seems like I actually can <laughs> use this boat against void hammerheads. Nice. Uh, but then again, void hammerheads isn't really that dangerous. Uh, the, the fastest hammerhead is the regular hammerhead. But as you can see with this one, it's not really going to be a problem. I can even... Oh, it's a flying one. <laughs> All right. But as you can see, a void hammerhead, this is a little bit out <laughs> of the actual topic. But uh, yeah, you can swim around with void hammerheads, as you can see. I showed it also in the void storm video. So I swim around in circle backwards and uh, yeah, it won't really be able to attack me. So that's uh, just awesome. But we're going to see how many hits it requires. So we have one hit and uh, I missed the second spear. That's perfect. Where is it? There it is. So two hits basically and you get a void hammerhead. And that's the same amount of hits that is required with the sunburst. So really no difference. And uh, yeah, the swan boat, it couldn't withstand one hit. So it's not really a robust boat for hunting. So one mistake and you are all by yourself in the ocean. But uh, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> that was the items from Valentine Update 2023. And uh, yeah, I need to get back on land again. Yes, and just to verify one thing, uh, that's gonna be last year we could get the uh, love stone fish here at the beach and I do believe it has been removed and as you can see that's a regular trout. So this beach is no longer for getting the limited valentine fish. What you need to do is to go over to the good old Watches Bay. And speaking of Watches Bay, we're gonna go over there as well before this video ends. But uh, we're gonna go into the aquarium to take a look at uh, the fishes that you can get. Because, uh, yeah, I have them since last year. So I have the tank over here to the right. This is what they look like. I do believe it's all the same. I have catched a few. And uh, it says crowned love fish. And uh, if I search on crowned, then you can see all of a sudden this is from last year because I have saved a lot of fishes. And uh, it's basically the same uh, limited fish. I think it's the first time you can get the same limited fish again one year later because there has always been some change. This was from the very first Valentine update. Then the fishes were red and uh, <laughs> apparently they, sw <laughs> they swim backwards. But uh, uh, apparently they all swim backwards. Okay, so <laughs> brilliant. Uh, but uh, regardless, so two years ago they were red. This year and the previous year they look like this. I think it's like a bluish gray. But yeah, enough with those. Fi uh, maybe we should check the fish index, by the way. I haven't thought of that. So <laughs> we, have, <laughs> yeah, we have the Valentine fish, the love fish. And uh, yeah, it actually has counted everything since last year. So it's still here. Nice. So we have the love fish. We have the broken love fish, gemstone love fish, crowned love fish. What? Cupid's love fish and... <laughs> okay, the sea bear. What's the sea... <laughs> What's up with the sea bear? I have taken on a lot of sea bears, but apparently if we go to about location, Valentine's... <laughs> so, uh, is this a special sea bear or something? I think we need to find out. So, let's go to this uh, new or old island. W good old Watches Bay. But uh, I think this island is just for this event, so... Let's enjoy it while it lasts. Oh yeah, it's been a long time ago since I actually spent time over there. Let oh, alright, so let's get there. We could go there by boat, but I'm gonna take the hot air balloon. So here we have it. I don't think there is a level requirement to get here. I'm not really sure though, but here we are. And uh, as it was earlier, you could get the sea bear down at the waterfall when we had Watcher's Bay. And we're gonna go over to that waterfall. 
and see if uh, there is still a sea bear down here. Uh, so you can go inside a cave here. Uh, okay, so the cave is actually gone. <laughs> there is no cave anymore. Uh, but this was where you were supposed to fish uh, sea bears <laughs> from the very first beginning. But you could also catch them just outside here. Question is, do they still exist here? So we're gonna just wait and see if something mythical appears that is not really Valentine related. Just gonna wait here for a while. Yeah, so it seems like, uh, yeah, there's no sea bears down here anymore. And uh, maybe it's just something wrong with the fish index. <laughs> because I don't really expect to find any sea bears here anymore. So this was removed back in the, I think it was uh, 12th of December 2021. It was removed. That was when we got the remaster. But it's a very, very beautiful island, actually. So really love to see this place again. I didn't expect myself to be able to actually run on this bridge again and see this lighthouse. So I do think the model of this Watchers Bay is uh, its a mixture because uh, you couldn't get inside the waterfall anymore. So that has been changed. But at the same time, it's not based on the latest model that we had when it was removed. And the reason why I know this is because uh, in the past and probably maybe now also, fishes or sea creatures got stuck underneath the island and uh, we couldn't hunt them. So the only way <laughs> to actually be able to remove them was to get underneath the island and uh, yeah that sounds a little bit uh, uh, sketchy of course but uh, there is actually a, a way down here and as you can see it's still here and uh, this was fixed on this uh, last revision of this island when it was removed but uh, here we can clearly see it's uh, yeah, it's back basically so if there was any sea creatures stuck you just had to jump down here and then you could hunt sea creatures from underneath the island instead yes so there we have it it's an event island i hope we can see this island appear again in other events because this is a perfect purpose to use islands like this that's at least what i think because yeah it's much appreciated i love it so yes thank you but even if an island doesn't really have sfa areas with quest line and everything more islands always brings more value to the game and that's what i think at least so i would love to see the original watchers bay also to be here once the valentine's event is gone but i don't think it will because it has a very specific name so yeah i don't know <laughs> it, it will probably be gone once this valentine's event is over so grab the opportunity while you can and hopefully i really hope so that we can see the original watchers bay here also one day well in any case that was all i had for you today if you do have any questions and comments about this please put them below like this video if you'd like to see more content from fishing simulator please subscribe and yes have a nice day bye everyone